Welcome back to Realism Overhaul. It's been a bit since my latest upload due to some files getting deleted as well as the holiday season, but I am back and ready to kick things off. We've got a simple mission for today with a few satellite contracts available for things we have already accomplished. But before we start, I'm excited to announce this channel has reached 50 subscribers. Thank you all so much. I am truly grateful to have you along the way. Now let's get on with it. So as I mentioned, there are several contracts available for things we have already done before. A satellite orbiting at over 850 kilometers with a maximum inclination of 35 degrees. A satellite orbiting at over 450 kilometers to study weather patterns equipped with temperature gauge and barometer. And a polar satellite, as well as returning an unmanned satellite from orbit to Earth safely. Now the middle two of the mentioned contracts can be completed on a single satellite, and that's what we're launching up today. For the Atmospheric Analysis Polar Satellite, or APS for short, I decided to design something new. This probe core has never been used before, and despite having no avionics on board, I'm rather fond of its design. It's equipped with one medium and one long range antenna, which I aim to have switched on at all times, and so I had to add some extra solar panels to compensate for the electricity drain. Also, a brand new engine was used for the satellite's upper stage, the RL-10 AJC series. This engine is extraordinarily effective at pushing small payloads around. Packing a bountiful amount of Delta V, this RL engine is a gem. The only downside being the rather elongated upper stage design, which is due to the stage being added to one of our old launch vehicles, slightly modified to make up for the Delta V differences. But I do intend to use this engine again on further missions. To launch a polar satellite, all we have to do is change our ascent profile to head south instead of east, done very easily by changing a parameter from 90 to 180 in the launch script being used by Kerbal Operating System. With all that out of the way, we head to the launch pad where APS is ready to go.
a nominal launch so far, despite a near catastrophe at the start, which I still genuinely don't know what exploded, but it must not have been important, so we're all good. Apoaps is resting just off the shore of Australia where we are able to regain communication, then adjust our orbit to meet the contract's requirements. The app's satellite is then detached from its upper stage to put itself into a much higher orbit to be put to use in our communications network. The upper stage then is left in its orbit for the same reason, but is capable of deorbiting itself if needed. Done and done. Two contracts completed. As Moon Research continues, we'll continue making our way through Mission Control to fund our future endeavors. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and peace out.